Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me today for Sketchbook Sunday, episode 34. Today I am painting a quick water portrait study, which isn't really anything new here on my channel, but it's something I really enjoy painting, so here we are. <laughs> I started off with an underpainting in Burnt Sienna, and this basically just set a nice mid-tone for the painting, and the warm undertone will help bring out the blue cool tone that will be the majority of this painting. And also the skin tone will have cool tones in it as well, considering some of it's underwater. That's something that I always found interesting is how water reflects light a different way onto skin and just sort of that barrier between being above the surface and below and then all the distortion that happens. But aside from the actual visual effects of water that have always been really fascinating to me, I've also been interested in the metaphorical aspect of it. So when I started up my water series, I was in a point in my life where I was trying to be more positive and really focus all my energy onto painting and I wanted to create a series of paintings that depicted the feeling that I was searching for which was you know peace and tranquility and being inspired and just sort of letting go and let life flow in its direction but at the same time obviously having goals that I want to achieve and actively working towards them I looked at inspiration as as a river almost and I took a bunch of reference images, I had friends model for me, I modeled for some of them myself when my friends were not available, and I created this body of work that uh, depicted the ideas I had in my mind, or at least what I was trying to say for myself, honestly. And a lot of them have names like Serenity or <laughs> Dreamer, uh, Purify flow with the river you know all those names they they mean something to me because that's what i was trying to experience when i was making these paintings i went to a place in my head where i was relaxed and calm and at peace and there were no problems <laughs> and uh it ended up happening that way painting has always sort of been a, a kind of escape but i tried to not only escape whatever was going on at the time, I was trying to change it as well. Through painting, I was able to create more of a, a lifestyle and a work ethic that I was much happier with, which eventually transitioned into me becoming a full-time artist. And so through creating <laughs> this series and through painting water, I almost practically brought the feelings that I was trying to create and portray and wanted to feel that were in my mind, I actually made them my own reality. So it was a very interesting experience. And then looking back on the art, I didn't actually understand this back then. That's the other thing is like, at the time, although I realize now this is what I was doing, looking back on it and analyzing it, I didn't know that as I was creating these paintings. I was literally just trying to uh, paint images that were in my mind, things I wanted to see that existed in the world, and they happened to be, you know, the things that I wanted to feel and experience and was actively trying to aim for. I'm hoping that this is making sense, <laughs> but, you know, aside from just the beauty of water itself and, and all the many forms it embodies and how fascinating it is to me visually, uh, from even like a scientific level, I was also drawn to paint it on an emotional level. It helped carry these ideas and these thoughts. I sort of just channeled it all into the weird distortion of water and also it completely encompassing the human beings that are in it. Also, a lot of people ask me why I paint women for the overwhelming majority and the truth is it's it's purely because I am one and it's easier to express myself through the female form than the male form because that's something that I actually am and I can relate to and uh, identify with. It just feels right to portray them through the female form. However, I have painted men before. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. I've painted YouTuber portraits. I've done male portraits in the past. Uh, it's just I'm, you know, creating from a female perspective. And so I'm sure there's a whole lot of subconscious psychological crap that's involved with why I paint so many women, but you know, it's just more comfortable for me to do that. Um, but yes, I have painted men before. But trailing back to the topic of water, 
I've done so many paintings where the water was heavily blue. I've done a lot of swimming pool references and this is sort of it's been my main focal point in the main body of water that I utilized, although I have taken references in bathtubs as well. I'm not ashamed to admit that, so... <laughs> the point is, it was like, I needed water, you know, I needed a body of water to work with, and when you live in a small apartment and you don't really have a backyard to work with like you couldn't there's only so much you can do and i had the community pool but there was always people there so i called up my friend like hey do you want to come over at this hour and we can take pictures in the in the pool and <laughs> and we did that and there were people in the reference shots that i had to edit out because they were ruining the painting <laughs> so it, it's, it's been an adventure to get these reference images, but as I was saying, I have been working predominantly with a pool, you know, water that is placed in something very blue toned. So now I want to explore more natural bodies of water, not something that's man-made like a bathtub or a pool of some kind. I want to actually go into lakes, go into the ocean and, you know, explore the more natural side of things. And I think that will present opportunity to paint much different colors, much different distortion and lighting, and it's going to be a whole new challenge for me that I'm really, really excited about. So that is, I think, the next step I want to take in my art. And obviously continue, you know, <laughs> the other work I, I create as well. I don't want to just limit myself to only painting a certain thing, like I'll paint water and then I'll paint other kinds of portraits. But that is where I'm at right now. and. This has been a very long rant that I'm hoping made sense. <laughs> Some of these things I have said before, but um, even this I've said before, but so much of the process is intertwined and interconnected in all these different ways that it's, it's a little bit hard not to repeat yourself sometimes when talking about it. So I, I feel like I need to clarify. Don't want to be too repetitive on here. It's always a challenge to come up with fresh content, you know, especially when you're when you're trying to upload frequently. But I hope that these videos are helpful for you guys. I hope you're enjoying them. And I want to thank you for watching and wish you a beautiful week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.